Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Corner. You know, Andy's Corner is that happy little place where we all sit back and talk all things heating and air. And sometimes some other stuff too, but mostly heating and air. That's what we try to stick to anyways. Uh, but today I wanted to talk about, I get a lot of questions from people, uh, homeowners mostly, um, that want to know if it's okay to buy their own equipment or to buy their own equipment and put it in themselves, or maybe buy it and have a licensed contractor put it in. You know, I've got my beliefs on it. Uh, you know, other people have their other beliefs, whatever, you can take it however you like, but this is my opinion of it. Uh, Cause you know, when you find equipment online or what I hear a lot of times is, you know, somebody knows a guy, cause everybody always knows a guy. Uh, that happens to have an old furnace. Well, I took it out of my house and it was only like five years old and I'll sell it to you for like 500 bucks and then you can put it in and save some money. Yeah, somebody always knows that guy somehow. Um, or online, there are some um, lesser quality brands that you can buy out there online sometimes. Um, and even if you wanna have it put in by a contractor, like I said, you know, I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, some other people can see it differently that's fine, however you like it. But as far as putting it in or buying it and having somebody else put it in, uh, for one, my biggest thing is where did that equipment come from? Uh, is it new? Uh, me personally, I don't believe in scratch and dent specials and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, or a lightly used furnace, a lightly used air conditioner. You don't know where this thing came from. You don't know if when it was taken out, taken out, if it was uh, treated correctly, because those um, where your line set connections go, those need to be welded shut. They uh, don't just get taped. You know, duct tape is not a waterproof thing uh, unless you do a whole lot of duct tape and nobody's doing that. Or I see guys, they just wrap uh, electrical tape around it. That's not watertight. Um, these are uh, hermetically sealed compressors. They need to be completely watertight. Uh, so when they're taken out, they need to have stubs of copper put in them, pinch shut, welded shut. Uh, that way there's no chance of any moisture, debris, anything like that to get in there. Um, so that's one thing. Uh, the other is you don't know what house this came from or what business or whatever it was. I mean, if it was somewhere else, uh, you know, how did they treat that system uh, before they took it out? I mean, if it's only a couple of years old and they're taking it out and put a new one in for some reason, there's probably a reason for that. Um, you know, and I would want to know personally, I would want to know what that reason is. I, I'm not a big believer in used equipment myself. You know, I'm not going to go buy a used air conditioner and put it in my house because I don't know where it came from exactly. I don't know how it was treated. Um, I mean, maybe it was in a house that was filthy, dirty, and they'd never changed their filter for five years. Um, you know, that's going to do some damage to that compressor because, you know, if we don't have enough airflow across there because of a dirty filter, dirty evaporator coil, something like that, um, you know, we have, uh, we can have liquid coming back to the compressor and that damages the valves and the compressors. That's not good for it. Um, so, you know, we don't want to see that. So that's one reason that I don't care for used equipment or buying it from, you know, the guy, cause everybody knows a guy. Um, you know, I'm not a big believer in that. Um, and as far as buying it online, uh, my biggest concern would be warranty issues. You know, I, I tell everyone with new systems, when you buy a new system for your house, make sure you have the best warranty you can possibly have. Well, if you buy it online, usually you don't get much of a warranty or if they say that you get a warranty, I've seen a lot of cases where people buy, they say, oh, I found this place that they sell them like warehouse discounts and you know, it's got like a 10 year warranty on it, everything else. Well, when something happens two years down the road and they try to call that warehouse dealer or whatever it is, you know, they're no longer in business. So now you don't have any warranty. Um, so, you know, I'm not a believer in that. Um, I, I just, I don't care for the idea of it. And a lot of contractors don't like putting in this equipment that came from somewhere else because they see it like I do. We don't know where it came from and now I'm going to put it in and now I'm putting my name on it. You know, I'm only going to put my name on equipment that I know is going to run only equipment that I know is going to be the most efficient and do the best possible job that it was made to do. Um, so I'm not gonna go out there and put my name on junk because that's just not a good idea. Uh, which, you know, junk may be a really harsh word uh, for some of this equipment out there because I know there are places that sell equipment um, online and different things. So, you know, there, I'm not necessarily trying to knock any of those people. If you're one of those that sells equipment online, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not good for your business. I, I'm not helping you out here. Um, but it, it's just, you don't know where it came from and you want to make sure that it has good warranties. And if that contractor puts it in, they want to be able to warranty it for you, but they're not going to warranty something that they didn't buy because they don't get the manufacturer warranty. You know, so many homeowners look at 
um, contractors as they're the ones providing the warranty. Most times, not always, but most times that warranty that you get from the contractor actually comes from the distributor or from the manufacturer, more than likely than a manufacturer. You know, that's they're just passing on their warranties. It's not the the contractor just saying, oh, well, you know, uh, a part went bad. I, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll pay $500 for that part and just give it to you. You know, it's not working like that. It comes from somewhere else. And most of these contractors are not able to warranty this equipment that came from somewhere else because nobody really knows where it came from. So I'm not a big believer in it. Um, I do like to see um, matched equipment that has been, uh, the, all the ratings are matched, everything like that. I do like to see it new and I want to see it come from a contractor because I just think that's the right way to do it. And then the other turn of that, as far as if you're wanting to buy it and put it in yourself or something like that, um, you know, I'm a heat and air guy. So I'm probably going to put my own furnace and air in, or I have put my own furnace and air in, but I'm a heat and air guy. You know, I've done this for 20 some years. I know how some of it works. Um, so that's okay. Um, you know, like my truck, my truck breaks down. I take it to a mechanic because that's what they do. They've been mechanics for years, so they know how to work on the truck. I'm not going to try to work on my truck and I don't want my mechanic trying to work on my air conditioner. Yeah. I mean, you see what I'm saying here is everyone has their own specialty um, that's why like handymen out there, you know, they say that they can do anything. Well, you know, they're a jack of all trades, but a master of none in a lot of cases. Now, nothing against handymen because there are, there's a perfect, perfect place in this world for handymen. Um, I don't believe they should dabble in heating and air, but that's me. Um, but you know, if, if you're not a heating and air guy, I don't think you should be putting your own equipment in. Um, I, I think you should leave that to the professionals, just the same as if somebody's going to, if I want to build a new house, I'm going to let carpenters build my house for me. Uh, I'm not going to go out there and have a pile of two by fours or two by sixes and say, yep, I can build this. I'm not going to do that because that's not my thing. That's not what I specialize in. So, um, I try to discourage homeowners from installing their own equipment. Now, I understand completely that there are a lot of homeowners out there that are more than capable of doing some of the work out there. I'm not saying that homeowners cannot do any of their own repairs. Um, it, there are some that are perfectly capable of doing any of it. And I know as a homeowner, um, I try to save as much money as I can um, on different areas of my house as far as, you know, some of the maintenances and some of the little fixes and things like that. I have a little leak under the sink. Yeah, maybe I'll take care of it. But as far as installing your HVAC system, that system, you know, a lot of people forget how important or how big of a part of that house, of your house that it is. Um, you know, that is one of the biggest uses of, one of the biggest uses of energy in the home, be it gas, electric, whatever. Um, and it's also one of the biggest things as far as uh, circulating your air so your house stays healthy um, and purifying air and all this kind of stuff. Um, it's a big part of your house. It's not just some little piece of equipment that sits in a corner in a closet somewhere, um, which a lot of times they are in closets and it is sometimes in a corner, but you get the idea. It actually has a very, very important role. And the other side of that is it can be dangerous. If you don't know what you're doing, uh, running gas line or hooking up gas connections or things like that. And I get it. There's plenty of people out there that say, well, I know righty tighty, lefty to Lucy, uh, you know, to tighten all these fittings down and stuff like that. But wouldn't you feel safer for you and your family in the house if somebody that is licensed, certified, and done it a thousand and five times, you know, this past year, uh, that doing that gas line work rather than you doing it? Um, you know, me personally, I would feel safer, um, you know, if I, uh, you know, if somebody was doing work like that in my house. I want somebody that is well experienced, well knowledgeable in that area, that kind of thing. I don't want to mess something like that up because that is one of the bigger parts to your house. So please, please leave it to the professionals. Um, I'm not saying that you, nobody's capable, people aren't capable of doing uh, their own work in their house or things like that. I'm not trying to discourage anybody, but for safety reasons, highly recommend leaving it to a licensed certified contractor. Um, and just like all my other videos out there, I've always said, you know, find a good contractor. Don't just hire Chuck in a truck. I'm sorry, Chuck. Um, and nothing against you. Uh, you have a nice truck, but you know, don't hire Chuck in the truck. 
um, you know, hire a good licensed certified contractor that's been around for a while. They know what they're doing, uh, have all kinds of certifications and that kind of stuff. Um, just find a quality contractor. Um, that's one of the biggest things. So, you know, that's my opinion of, uh, buying equipment online and either trying to put it in yourself or buying it yourself and having a, a contractor put it in. You know, I see a lot of complication to it. I know not everybody sees it that way, but uh, that's my opinion. I can't, I can't help that. That's what it is. Um, so um, just be careful out there and make sure you do things the right way. That's all I ask for every, anybody. So uh, that's what I had for today. If you have any questions, anything like that, make sure you hit me up in the comments. I usually try to respond back to everybody, even some of those ones, you know, if they want to knock something that I said, that's cool too, whatever. Um, I had somebody tell me a while back that uh, you're not a YouTuber until you have haters on your comments. So I'm pretty happy uh, with, uh, you know, one of those haters that was out there, but obviously he didn't watch the entire video or really take notes on what I said. So, you know, whatever, that's cool too. Um, always follow me on uh, Instagram. I do a lot of stuff on there. Um, there's a lot more content than what I have here on YouTube. Uh, so be sure to follow me on Instagram. Um, and you can hit me up on there uh, if you're looking for an Andy's Corner HVAC t-shirt because you know everybody needs an Andy's Corner HVAC t-shirt. So you can hit me up there. Uh, if you have already subscribed, I want to say thank you. I appreciate all the views, comments, all that kind of stuff that I get. Thank you very much. I have an awesome uh, subscriber count. Um, as far as, you know, you guys interacting with me and everything like that, I think that's awesome. So I want to say thank you. If you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Uh, that way, uh, you can see all the new videos, hit the bell icon up there. That way you get notifications every time a new video comes out. I try to do these pretty regularly. I've been very, very busy this summer. Uh, so I haven't gotten as many as I normally do out right now, but, uh, I'm going to try working on getting more. Uh, I got to find time. As that's what it is. So make sure you subscribe, hit me up on Instagram. Thank you and God bless.